Welcome to IQ Checker YouTube channel, home of science quizzes and IQ tests. Question 8. Pierre investigates the reaction between lumps of zinc and dilute hydrochloric acid. The conical flask contains hydrochloric acid and zinc granules. 8a. Pierre finds that the reaction is faster if he eats the dilute hydrochloric acid. Explain why using the particle model. To use the particle model or the particle theory to explain your answer. So the particle theory has to do with the arrangement of particles in a substance. So application of heat makes the reaction faster because number one, the heat causes the particles to move to have more energy and particles move faster. Number two, the heat causes more collision of particles. Hence, the reaction is faster. So as you relate your answer with particles, with energy, with collisions, with movement, all this has to do with particle model. Question 8b. Pierre wants to make the reaction go faster. He does not want to change the volume of the hydrochloric acid, the temperature of the dilute hydrochloric acid, nor does he want to change the mass of zinc. Describe one other way that Pierre can make the reaction go faster. The con other conditions that can make the reaction go faster without changing the volume of dilute hydrochloric acid, without changing the temperature of the hydrochloric acid, and without changing the mass of zinc. So the other conditions include, one, the use of powdered zinc. So the powdered zinc will definitely increase the surface area of the zinc, which will make the reaction go faster. Number two, use higher concentration of hydrochloric acid. The one in the question, Pierre used dilute hydrochloric acid. So if you increase the concentration, definitely the reaction will go faster. Number three, by shaking. Because Pierre in, a, in the investigation, there is nothing like shaking or steering. So if you introduce shaking or steering of the reaction mixture, the reaction can also go Faster. So any of these responses is a valid answer. Question 8C. Pierre wants to measure the volume of gas given up during the reaction. Complete the diagram of the equipment Pierre uses to complete and measure the volume of the gas. So all you need to do is to draw an apparatus to measure volume of gas produced during the reaction. In some of the apparatus you can draw is a gas syringe. So just draw a gas syringe across the tube and it can measure the volume of gas produced. Question 8D. Pierre does a risk assessment on his investigation. He decides to wear safety goggles. Why does he decide to wear safety goggles? Safety is essential when carrying out experiment, so Pierre has to wear safety goggles to stop or prevent hydrochloric acid from entering his eyes. So this is a very good safety measure. Question 9. Sophia investigates the current in a circuit containing two identical lamps. She changes the number of cells and measures the current A1 to A4 in hams. Look at the results. From the electric circuit, we can see the directions of flow of electrons from the positive terminal of the cell. We could see point X and point Y also. The table shows the results of the, exper of the uh, investigation, showing the amount of current measured by the ammeters, that is A1, A2, A3, and A4 ammeters, according to the number of cells from 1 to 6. Question 9a. What do the results tell you about what happens to the current in the circuit at point X 
and y point x and y so first of all take note of the direction of flow of electrons in the electric circuit you will observe that one the current splits at point x and number two the current rejoins at point y the current splits at x and joins at y Question 9b. One of the results is anomalous. Circle the result in the table that is anomalous. The first thing is, what is anomalous result? An anomalous result is simply a kind of result that is different from what is normal or from what is expected. Now, take a good look at the table of results. When the number of cells is 1, A1 nanometer reach 0.4, a2 ammeter reads half of A1, which is 0.2. A3 reads the same result as A2, which is 0.2. And A4 reads the same result as A1, which is 0.4. The trend continues like this from the number of cells is 1 to when the number of cells are 4. But when the number of cells are 5, a1 ammeter reads 1.4, A2 ammeter reads half of A1, which is 0.7, and that is absolutely correct. A3 reads the same result as A2, which is 0.7, and that is still normal as expected. And now, A4, instead of reading the same result as A1, which is 1.4, we have 2.8 instead in the table of results. So this 2.8 is different from the normal or expected result. Hence, 2.8 is an anomalous result. Note, the question requires that you say cool the anomalous results. So always follow the instructions. You, you go to the table of results and circle the anomalous results. Question 9C. Predict the values of A2, A3, and A4 if the value of A1 is 1.6 amp. So with the explanation from question 9b, we can easily predict the results when A1 is 1.6 amps. So A2 will be half of A1, which is 0.8. A3 will read the same result as A2, which is also 0.8. And A4 will read the same result as A1, which is 1.6. So this is as simple as A, B, C, and you are good to go. Question 10. Carlos investigates electrical resistance. Look at the circuit. The reading on the ammeter is 0.6 amp. The reading on the voltmeter is 1.8 volts. Question 10a. Calculate the resistance of resistor R. Include the units. So resistance of resistor R is equal to dash and the unit is dash. So this is for two marks. The general formula of Ohm's law is V is equal to IR. Where V is for voltage in volts and I is for current in amperes and R is for resistance in ohms. So we are given the voltage as 1.8 volts and current as 0.6 amp. To find the resistance, simply make R in the general formula the subject of the formula. So R will now be V over I, which is equal to 1.8 divided by 0.6. This will give us 3, and the unit of resistance is ohms. So the resistance of the resistor in this circuit is 3 ohms. Question 10b. Carlos replaces R with a resistor of greater resistance. What happens to the reading on the armature? R is replaced by greater resistance. So when the resistance in an electric circuit increases, the amount of current in the circuit will decrease or get smaller. So the reading on the ammeter decreases when there is a greater resistance. All right. So when there is a greater resistance, 
the amount of current measured by diameter decreases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and click the bell button for notifications. Thank you.